Hey guys, Tony Maritato here. So in this video, you can see my client is working on improving her knee flexion. One of the ways she does that, I'm gonna pause it for a second, is by using a bench. Now this could be replicated on a couch at home, the side of a bed, a chair. I like to have something comfortable that my client can lean on. So here we're using the treatment table. And basically what's going on is as she applies pressure, now she can control how much pressure she puts into the knee by putting most of her body weight on the non-surgical leg and distributing it equally through her forearms and upper body. She could basically put zero pressure, five pounds, 10 pounds, and so on. Um, the padding on the bench is great because it kind of takes away some of the fear and the sensitivity that some patients still have through the incision. But this position allows her to really take control. You know, I can only push your knee so far before you start to become anxious and fearful and start to resist. It's a natural response. But when you're in charge of bending the knee, you can apply more pressure. You're more comfortable with it. That alarm system in the nervous system doesn't start going off quite as quickly. So this is a great opportunity for you to apply pressure to your own knee in this position. And so you can see what I've got is the client is working on rocking her body backward. As she rocks back, there's more knee flexion. As she moves forward, there's less knee flexion. Now she has a habit here of allowing that knee to rise up off the pad. That's fine, but you know, it's just, it's a compensation just like anything else. So it's not dangerous, it's not harmful, um, but rather than letting the knee rise up off the pad, I just would probably stop uh, shifting her body weight back quite as far. Now, if you like, I didn't do it in this video, but you could actually slide the bench away from the table so that her knee is in front, kind of hanging over the edge. The bench is more toward the ankle or mid shin, and that would allow her again, if she has any sensitivity under the knee around the incision, to not press directly on the incision, but to still get the benefit of this kind of pressure. Now, what I like most about it, when you understand the anatomy of the knee joint, what has to happen? So imagine here is the ball, here is the cup. The, the knee kind of functions like this. So when the knee is in full extension, it's straight. As the femur, this is the femur, starts to bend, as that knee starts to bend, the ball actually has to slide relative to the tibia or the cup. So if, if it just bent and didn't slide, it would roll off the back, right? And that's not what happens. So what happens is there's actually a rolling and a gliding as you straighten or flex your knee. And when you're looking at this picture, the tibia bone has to shift backward relative to the femur. And when that happens, you get better knee flexion. And so this helps facilitate. It's not just about pushing um, the heel toward the butt. It's about allowing that tibia to slide and glide, roll, slide, glide back posteriorly relative to the femur. So guys, this is one of my favorite ways to work on knee flexion. You can do it at home, one knee kneeling on the couch, the other foot standing on the floor next to it. You can lean on the armrest of the couch. You could do it at the side of your bed if your bed's low enough. Uh, you can do it on a cushioned chair. So one foot is on the floor, the other, the surgical knee is on the cushion of the chair. There's just lots of different ways that you can do something like this. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you tried it, if it helped, if it hurt. Guys, best wishes to you. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please take a minute, subscribe to the channel now. Your support is what keeps this channel growing. And the more we grow, the more people we can help avoid some of the challenges that so many of our members have gone through. Guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.